in the colonial period in Jamaica, there was a, a kind of tribe called the Maroons. And they used these horns, kind of ram's horns, uh, called the abeng. And the abeng, so they used to communicate with each other using just blowing into this horn, kind of trumpet type sound. And so you use it to communicate in the jungle over, you know, uh, secretly or not so secretly. But what, what became apparent is that the English colonialists in, in Jamaica at that time were petrified by this high-pitched sound because um, they, they didn't know what it was. And, you know, they're in the jungle. They're from England. They're kind of out of their home turf. Um, and not only that, but the, these, these devices were usually coupled with the planning of ambushes where, you know, they'd be, the Marines would... They'd Basic kind of early guerrilla warfare. They'd be camouflaged as the jungle, and they suddenly, like in the film Predator, like the quote, famous sample from the film Predator, the jungle would just come alive and take, take the, the the English, the British. Um, so that that's kind of a, a interesting example for the book because the book's about the way certain frequencies instill fear, um, and the way you know it's, it's kind of about uneasy listening. Uh, or the way sounds used to create a bad vibe, which is not something I'm always trying to do as a DJ or a musician, but it's something I was kind of interested in theoretically. <laughs> 